Now I am going to describe the Nifty and Bank Nifty future trend forecast for next week. So every week we used to release this uh, particular uh, trend report. So today 29th of April we are releasing for the next week April 2nd to April 6th. So once you go to our website smartfinancing.com here and uh, here you will get that link to download this thing download weekly nifty and bank nifty uh, trend report so here you will get that link to download so once you click it here one pdf file will download so this video file has our analysis for the nifty future and bank nifty future uh, trend for the coming week so this report we are producing from the past uh, 34th week. This is the 34th week. Out of this 32 weeks of success it has given and uh, uh, you can get those uh, old analysis also. So here uh, this is the reference price of May uh, future. So we are doing it for the May 2016 expiry. This 29th April. So we are having the May expiry, 28th April 2016 the April contract expired. So now based on this I am taking the 29th last traded price of Nifty Future is 7898. I have taken as for the real time estimate of the volatility which I have taken calculated and based on that this uh, real time volatility I have inputted here price 798. 7898 square root of days 7 and uh, based on that I got the price range as 146.67 I have taken this price as reference from here I have calculated which is telling me that nifty future has uh, off-trend confirmation off-trend confirmation it will give me above 7932 so 7932 is my 0.236 retracement drawn from this retracement drawn from this reference price of 7898 which is nothing but the last traded price for the nifty future on 29th April and once it crosses this 0.236 retracement level then I can expect 0.618 and uh, higher levels so here I am giving you an analysis so once it crosses it will be giving you the levels of 8028, 8079, 8135 which is the last growth retracement. Downtrend similarly 7863 if it is fall below that then successfully fall below 7807 will trigger 7768, 7717 and 7661. So this is what I am giving it here. So all this in between levels I have written it here and post which I will be uh, range bound trend also I have given here so above 7971 on the all uh, down move it is uh, 7825 means 0 0.5 uh, retracement level in the upside and downside this is your range bound uh, zone if the price move between this range then you can say it is a range bound trend means 7971 to 7824 this is the range and I have taken this 0.5 uh, reference level for range bound uh, identification because of low volatility volatility is less than 15 percent that's why I have taken it how to trade on this thing I have given the simple analysis here so you can get buying above 7933 with the stop loss 7863 you should hedge it with the 7850 put option if the buying trend breakout also given you have to hedge the trade and initial target 7988 or selling the future at 7863 with a stop loss 7933 and uh, that too also you must hedge it with the 7950 call option so this is what I am telling you and this is a weekly level for the next week we are expecting the same thing and here I am giving you the Procedure how to initiate the trade if the uptrend gives breakout you should enter the trade with the put option first target achieves then trail your stop loss to the 0.382 retracement second target achieves 
trail your stop loss to the 0.5 retracement third target achieves trail your stop loss to 0.786 retracement like this way you continue till the last target is not achieved or the trailing has not triggered and same way I have given another option also whenever you are selling and sell it with the call option and uh, if your uh, buying position triggered the stop loss then instead of hurriedly exiting the trade at 0.236 retracement here just wait for some more clarity let the price to cross 0.382 then you should close and come out so it is uh, sometime it may have a touch and bounce back also similar kind of things if you are experiencing then you can just wait for some time one or two minutes let the price fall below this and let the price come close to 0.38 to retracement then only you should close the hedging option position always the losing future position and uh, enter the trade in the opposite direction that is what I am telling here and if it happens in the very uh, uh, end session that is which is uh, 3 to 3.30 wait for some 10-15 minutes then you should decide and if this is here I am just telling you to buy with some option if you you have many choices to hedge this particular future trade with different different option strategy you can hedge it with writing of the options also that also you can do so any strategy which you understand uh, in a better way that things you can implement here so next is uh, we are going for the uh, bank nifty so bank nifty we are going for the bank nifty and this is the second to sixth May level so so here this is a type of mistake April I have written it is second to sixth May 2016 so so this is the trading week for which we have uh, done this calculation for bank nifty similar way I have done a calculation for 459 point I am cal calculating this is the last traded price of the bank nifty May future May 2016 future and based on that I have calculated this since it is a 16,000 value the base value is very high base value is above 10,000 henceforth I am just instead of making an entry at 0.236 I am making an entry at 0.382 so similar way I have given buy, buy at 17,047 stop loss 16,700 for initial target of this use 16,700 put option with this long future or you can think of selling 17,000 500 uh, call option also that also you can do so here uh, downtrend also is starting at 16,696 and similar way you can also think of selling here along with a uh, call option hedge if you are selling you have to buy a call option or you have to write some put option or any other strategy which uh, uh, is beneficial at that particular time so this is what how you should trade in the next week which is the week starting from 2nd to 6th May 6th May 2016 so for this week only this analysis is valid and how this uh, you know, performed in the last entire month though there is a 33 weeks of record available for this particular method how it has performed uh, this uh, uh, method has performed the last uh, entire month I am talking about from the fifth week of March so fifth week of March with the same procedure hedging the future long with a long put option or hedging a future short with a long call option uh, last week of March the nifty one lot has awarded 4200 profit and uh, bank nifty has awarded 4200 profit and here nifty awarded 3243 profit so here also I am going for the April first week April first week so this two also bank nifty awarded 5130 and nifty first trade was failure second trade was success so it is 1600 however on the 6th and 7th this is 4th to 8th I have taken on the 4th 4th April references and 6th and 7th this profit has increased in the nifty nifty also has given more than 4000 profit in this past week of this thing with one lot of uh, one lot reference 
and using the same trailing stop loss technique. So whenever trailing triggers we are coming out based on this philosophy. And the 11th to the 13th it is a very short week for the April. There are holidays. However this week also we have performed and I have given one video here. So in the YouTube channel you can find out this video. So here too also Nifty has given some 4000 plus profit. Bank Nifty also has given similar kind of profit. So here on the third week, third week Nifty, third week of April Nifty has rewarded 3000 profit. However Bank Nifty you have not got any chance. There was a gap of actions every day. So we have not got any chance to enter. So this is what happened in the third week of April, fourth week of April, the follow of emails I am sending to all the registered members. So here too also I have given uh, the analysis, Bank Nifty, uh, first trade was failure, so it has resulted a loss, second trade in the same day has recovered almost the entire part of your loss and this Nifty was in a range and each time uh, the trailing stop loss has a triggered, so two incident of trailing stop loss has a triggered, so we have just got past incident 8, 825, second incident 820, uh, 862, though it is a range bound, unless was there, so we have got some profit in this, Bank Nifty also, we have not incurred the losses, however, uh, the losses what we have incurred in the first part, it is uh, recovered totally, and on intraday basis 25th, 26th and 27th of April, uh, I have given some intraday analysis using this thing uh, in a live uh, webinar event so that also you can click on this link and uh, find it out and in the YouTube channel you can find out those uh, videos, intraday also it has performed nicely. So this is what the performance of this particular method in intraday and positional and specifically this report is for weekly positional trade and it has a very formulated procedure by means of which you are uh, getting this and uh, if, you are, uh, if you want to use this particular technique for intraday then you have to go with our paid software which comes 2600 for one year and uh, it is 2600 for one year it has equity future option all intraday as well as equity and future you can do the positional like the weekly trend I have given same way you can do it and we have various other learning material if you are very serious in your trade and you wish to get a complete knowledge on the trading then you can go with our uh, entire learning material uh, which will cost you 17,500 and I do uh, request you please share this report with your friends so that let them take the benefit of these things and follow it for next week to know its success in the trade. If you wish to get this uh, weekly report and its follow-ups by email, then just visit our website and here we have given our registration link to our website. Just click here so and uh, register yourself and if you have already registered in our site then you will be getting the emails. However, if you have not registered then just click here and register yourself so that all those uh, reports that uh, weekly trend report, the follow-up of those reports, you can send it to your email directly. If you think it is uh, useful then uh, think of registering in this particular link in our website on top we have given. So the registration link click here and register yourself and get these reports delivered in your email box. To buy the product, the product what I have shown you, one standard deviation product, click on the product link and here the first product that one standard deviation product if you click that so that uh, product open up here and you just uh, uh, click on the buy now button to purchase this product.